here if as he strikes you on the cheek you're looking him in the eyes when they come from over the mountain yeah we'll We'll run right around them We've got no guns No, we don't have any weapons Just a call Me and the children Viste, si scasta i gluti, no, è da male, no, è da imporre su tutto. The dust clouds, the dark clouds, but now forever conduct our struggle on the high plane of dignity and discipline. We must not allow our creative protests to degenerate into physical violence. Again and again, we must rise to the majestic heights of meeting physical force with soul force. That peace comes That peace Wherever there's um, injustice, there's anger. But anger is like gasoline, and if you spray it around and somebody lights a match, you've got an inferno. But anger as an engine, in an engine, is powerful. If we can put our anger inside an engine, it can drive us forward, it can get us through the dreadful moments, and it can give us real inner power. And I learned this in my work with nuclear weapon policy makers because at the beginning I was so outraged at the dangers they were exposing us to that I just wanted to argue and blame and make them wrong. Totally ineffective. In order to develop uh, a dialogue for change, we have to deal with our anger. It's okay to be angry with the the thing, the nuclear weapons in this case, but it is hopeless to be angry with the people. They are human beings just like us. And they're doing what they think is best and that's the basis on which we have to talk with them. So that's the third one, anger. And it brings me to the crux of what's going on, or what I perceive is going on in the world today, which is that last century was top-down power. It was still governments telling people what to do. This century, there's a shift. It's bottom-up or grassroots power. It's like mushrooms coming through concrete. It's people joining up with people, as Bundy just said, miles away to uh, bring about change. <laughs> 